Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, hi guys. Sa video natin ngayon, ang magiging focus natin is yung grade 8. Actually, these five problems is from the elimination elimination round of MMC 2018. So, bale, kumuha lang ako ng five questions. So, ito yung five questions natin. Browse natin. Pangatlo. Pangapat. At pang lima. So, let's start with item number one. Item number one natin, factor out completely 25A squared minus 9B squared. And then this one is under MMC 2018, item number 2. So, paano ba? Ito ay pwede sa difference of 2 squares. So, when we factor out 25, A squared minus 9B squared, ang pattern na susundan nyo ay may manok pa, syempre, ay A squared minus B squared. This one is equal to A minus B times A plus B. So, to follow this pattern, Ang magiging factors nito ay 5A minus 3B times 5A plus 3B. These are the factors of 25A squared minus 9B squared. And then, let's go with item number 2. Simplify 3N plus 3N plus 3N. This is item number 3 of MMC 2018. So, uh, paano ba? To simplify this kind of problem, kung kapansin nyo, we have three terms. 1, 2, 3. At pare-parehas na 3 raised to n. So, ang ginagawa ko rito, we're going to factor out 3n. If we factor out natin 3n sa labas, it will become 3n times 1 plus 1 plus 1. And then, you can simplify this as 3. So, we have 3n times 3. Kung kapansin nyo, we can apply loss of exponent na kung saan, kapag parehas ang base, you can add the exponent. Ang exponent ito ay 1. Therefore, copy yung base, which is 3. Add the exponent, which is n plus 1. This is the answer. The simplified form of this expression is simply 3 Raise to n plus 1. That's it. So let's proceed with item number 2. Ay, uh, number 3. This is from MMC 2018, number 9. So dito, write in lowest terms without 0 or negative exponents. We have x cubed, y raised to negative 2, z raised to negative 7, over x raised to negative 3, y raised to negative 5, z raised to 2. And then raised to... One third. So, pwede naman natin i-distribute agad or i-multiply yung exponent sa labas. Another way is i-simplify nyo muna to. Ito muna sa loob. So, paano ba? So, you have x cubed minus negative 3 for the variable x. And then you have y negative 2 minus negative 5. For the variable z, you have z raised to negative 7 minus 2 raised to 1 third. And then, simplifying those exponents, you have x 3 plus 3, y raised to negative 2 plus 5, then you have z raised to negative 9 raised to 1 third. And then, you have x raised to 6, y raised to 3, and z raised to negative 9 raised to 1 third. Then in this form, you can multiply the exponents. So you have x raised to 6 times 1 third, y raised to 3 times 1 third, then z raised to negative 9 times 1 third. Sensya na may manok. Simplify lang natin. You have x raised to 2, y, and then z raised to negative 3. So, to finalize your answer, since this one is negative, 
you can convert this, that into x squared y over 0 raised to 3. This is the answer. Para maging positive yung ating negative exponent, ilagay lang sa denominator. That is number 3. Next, let's go with item number 4. Item number 4 is under MMC 2018, item number 10. Sabi dito, what is the perimeter of a square if its area is 16x squared plus 56x plus 49? So, may dalawang words na kailangan tandaan. You have the perimeter and an area ng square. So, the perimeter of the square is simply 4 times s. And then for the formula of the area of a square is simply s squared or s raised to 2. So ngayon, ang target natin muna rito is hanapin yung value ng x of s. What is the value of s? Sabi dito, the, per the area of, a of the square area is equal to 16 x squared plus 56x plus 49. So, gamitin natin yung formula ito. You would have a is equal to s squared. Ipalit natin, you have 16x squared plus 56x plus 49 is equal to s squared. At kung mananotice nyo, this one is a perfect square trinomial. You can have this as 4x plus 7 raised to 2 is equal to s squared. At ang target natin is mahanap yung s. So, kunin natin square root. Square root. Cancel out. So, ito cancel out. So, therefore, your s is simply 4x plus 7. Yan yan. And then, next natin gagawin is gamitin natin yung formula for perimeter. Kasi sabi, what is the perimeter? Perimeter is equal to 4 times s. Your s is equal to 4x plus 7. So p is equal to 4 times 4x plus 7. So simplify natin here. p is equal to 16x plus 28. This is the answer for item number 4. Now let's proceed with item number 5. For item number 5, this is item number 21 sa ating 2018 elimination round. So dito, parang comp this one is under composite function. So the given problem, if f of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x and g of x is equal to 1 plus x all over x, what is f circle g of 2? So paano ba? Tuturuan ko kayo. Ang ginagawa dito, una, evaluate muna natin yung function of g. You have g of x is equal to 1 plus x over x gamit yung value ng 2. So, it will become g of 2 is equal to 1 plus x over x. Evaluate muna natin to. So, the value of x is equal to 2. So, you will have g of 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 over 2. And simplifying your function, g of 2 is simply 3 over 2. Ito ngayon yung value ng g of 2. Na kung saan, ito naman yung ipa-plug in natin dito. Na kung saan, ito yung ipa-plug in natin dito sa function of f. So, f of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. Ang magiging value ng x natin ay yung nakuha natin from the function of g gamit yung 2. So, f of 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So, paano yan? So, f of 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1 minus 3 over 2. Simplify natin denominator. f of 3 over 2 be equal to 1 over 2 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So, f of 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over negative 1 half. 
f of 3 over 2 is equal to 1 times negative 2 over 1. Or kung mapansin nyo, f of 3 over 2 is simply negative 2. This is the answer for this problem. f circle g of 2 is simply equal to negative 2. This is the answer. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung five questions na meron tayo or five problems na pinili ko from 2018 elimination round ng grade 9. And then, don't forget to subscribe and like this given video. And share niyo na rin sa mga kasama niyo para mas happy tayo. So, para sa aking huling sabihin, thank you. And God bless.